The following program is presented by Pro Sound and Video. Today on Broward Teen News, we're at West Broward High School to learn all about our students and the community. Stay tuned to learn about a summer camp that has changed the lives of many kids. A prop house with a story. A student who started a new tradition and contributed to a good cause. And much more. Hello and welcome to Broward Teen News, West Broward High School Edition. I'm Emma Luna. And I'm Nicholas Gallen. Today, we're going to look inside our school and community to show you some of the things going on. Like our first story where a student contributed to a good cause and started a new tradition by being inspired by something she saw on TikTok. Anna Vega can tell you more. Seniors at West Broward decided to take a blast of the past to their old childish memories. These students wanted to take a trip down memory lane to revisit the time that they got to go and pick out their favorite character backpack. Not only did it bring back old memories, but it also has such a strong and heartfelt meaning behind it. I saw the TikTok trend um, a while back and I thought, why not just do it for the senior class of 2022? Um, we thought about donating the backpack, so I think it's a really good idea to, you know, come to school, show the school spirit, and then give it to a good cause at the end. I thought it was a really cute, fun trend, and I thought it was really nice to remind us about our childhood on our last year of high school. Senior Andrea Guzman planned and organized this event along with some friends. Class of 22 might have felt like children again, but decided to pay it forward with kindness to help those in need. After um, this trend is over, I plan to donate my backpack to the needy and to someone who can probably have a better use for it than me. So I've been looking at different donation companies, so I want to try and get as many seniors as possible. We're trying to use them as much as we can, but the ones that don't want to use it the entire school year, we're going to ask them if they can donate and maybe donate some school supplies as well. This class has had so many holes in their path, but have made it so far. This event has made them think of their past and appreciate the young kids that they used to be. These students realize how much they've accomplished and how bright of a future they have ahead of them. For WBTV, this has been Anna Vega reporting. What a great job, Andrea. Here at BTN, we have amazing opportunities to work with other schools in the area to look at all the things happening here in South Florida. Here's a story from Doral Academy on the founder of a prop house with a creative mind and a passion for artistic objects. I think that all objects come from art, like architecture. Uh, I think that, that without the sense of composition, material, uh, volume, color, we don't have objects. My name is Carolina Pagani and uh, this is Prop Planet. Here you can come anytime and look around uh, and then based on the things that you need you can rent them for three days and bring them back. I don't think in the 13 years that I've come here practically every day, there's, there hasn't been one day that I haven't had fun. And I always hope that when people come in, I have the same feeling. Success in production, challenging. Why? Because first of all, you have to believe in yourself every day. Because nobody comes here every morning and tells me, hey, you're doing a great job. Like nobody does on a set. When you show up, you just have to give your best and hope that it's the best you can give. If something goes wrong, you'll know right away. But if something goes really perfect, everything will be just fine. My main thing in life has always been work very, very hard doing what you really, really like. And then everything will be fine. Sometimes I'm watching TV or I'm driving in a highway and I'm like, hold on one second. That, that is my radio. <laughs> yeah. And that's always fun too, because it's almost like your little kid is there, you know? Like, yeah. so we've had a, a few, like I've had experiences with my work outside, but then I'm like watching TV and I'm like, well, there, is, there, there it is. It took so much work, you know? And then I have situations where I have clients that have come and created beautiful campaigns. Uh, one of the most, for me, exciting situations was uh, we, we had Marvelous, the Marvelous Miss Maisel come, uh, which was an extremely picky crew. Uh, they work a lot with original items, not uh, replicas. 
And for them, it's extremely important that every single piece of every single prop on the show is real to the time. Uh, and they take a lot of time on that. Uh, hmm, one way to describe Prop Planet, I think, is, I want to think, is fun. What a great story. Next, we're going to take a look at a student that's passionate about nail art with her own business that has been widely successful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so what do you do for your nails? My name is Natalia Caicedo and I have my own at-home nail business. The name of my business is Nails by Nata. I started my business by starting with doing my friend's nails and then their friends wanted me to do their friend's nails. So then like I just, it just grew like pretty fast and then I started doing everybody's nails. My family is very supportive. They're actually the ones that inspired Perfect. me to like make it a big business. Like really, I was just gonna do this with my friends and do their nails, but they were like welcoming to having like literally strangers in my house. And like, they even gave me like a whole room for me to do nails in and they gave up their office space for me. So they were like very supportive about this. Puppy, your coworker followed me? Erika. She did? I told her to. <laughs> Are you serious? I want to check. I do feel that my social skills have improved by doing nails because since it's just us two, like me and my client, I feel like I can build like more of a deeper connection with them. So it's like helped me like be like more of like an outgoing person and like get to know them more. Follow her, follow her. She does her nails. She's the best. <laughs> what I hope to accomplish with my nail business this year is to keep having my affordable prices for all these people that want to get their nails done because I know back then when me and my sister would want to get our nails done, we weren't able to get them done as often because it does get really expensive at the nail salons. And I know not everyone can afford going to the nail salon. So I just hope I can keep having my business as long as possible because I want to be able to help many people in the future. It's time for a break. Let's take a look at how important mental wellness is for people from all walks of life. To me, mental wellness means knowing when I need some time alone. Mental wellness to me means being proud of the little victories, no matter how small. Mental wellness means looking in the mirror and accepting my healthy self. Mental wellness means reaching out for help when I need it most. Mental wellness is not always about being happy. It's taking on the struggles. And finding positive ways. To overcome them. That was a great insight on how important mental wellness can be to everyone. Now let's take a look at another story by our friends at Doral Academy about a camp that has helped kids have fun and keep in touch with nature and animals. I like coming to Shangri-La a lot because um, when I'm like at home I get like bored and I don't feel like that much strong. But when I'm here in Shangri-La and Bonanza I feel strong and I feel more like powerful of nature because I love really nature and I love animals. I like to come to Samila because we get to do fun activities that other towns doesn't do. And um, we get to play with our friends and we get to go out in nature. Located in the heart of Miami, Shangri-La USA Summer Camp opens their doors once again this year by providing uniqueness through weekly costume parties, on-site petting zoo, and horse riding, Shangri-La USA manages to capture the essence of community and socializing. In this camp, we're granted the opportunity of having many green areas, a lot of nature, and it really sets us apart. The idea of having kids socialize in outdoors and truly spend time away from technology is a luxury not many have. Um, I like that 
here in Shangri-La, they have more freedom than the other camps, which I really like. They have more um, animals than other camps. This camp has become an escape from the reality of COVID for our kids. The members have spent months locked inside and with Shangri-La, they're able to regain the social time they lost that is crucial to their development. The great outdoors of this camp provides the kids with a different scenery and contributes to their growth. Five hours que pasan en el camp. Shangri-La helped me very much for COVID because like, we get to be in outdoor and we get to be in nature and we get to have so much fun. And Shangri-La became a home to me. Looks fun. Let's take a look at how West Broward's football team hopes to boost school spirit and come back this season. Maria Gonzalez can tell you more. Football is one of the most watched sports in the United States. With over 14.9 million views each year, it's the most popular sports in most American households. With so many events to kick off the year, like the pep rally and the homecoming game, football has really brought spirit to all students. Football season brings amazing school spirit. It was so nice to see the jerseys worn today. Furthermore, they, they picked out you know, me as a captain. Absolutely love football season. When I was a teacher, I coached football. Uh, I played football for 18 years, so I love every moment of the sport. You can see it brings out the crowd, brings out the community, makes everybody happy, and just brings everybody together as a school community. So that's my favorite part. Uh, football season is a very exciting time for a lot of kids, how um, we didn't have much of one for COVID, so this is very exciting for everybody. We go and walk throughout the cafeteria, calling out cheers to get everybody hyped for the game that's happening that day. Uh, the, the culture that Coach BMAC, our head coach, is building, okay, last year with the previous coaches was a pretty rough season, and everybody expects us to be just like them. They expect us to go one and nine, but we're changing the culture. First day of school, I'm walking around in the hallways, and all I hear is football team sucks, football team sucks. We got something to prove. That's pretty much it. Football game, I think, is just the excitement, the, uh, the game, uh, uh, the energy, and uh, the synergy that brings to, to the, the fans and the athletes. Um, I think it's awesome. I think the energy is what we're looking for. I think as a new athletic director at West Broward High School, bringing the student body back to campus and having a, a vehicle like sports, in this case football, it kind of like bring everybody together, bring the spirit up, and, uh, and get us in the right track in the right year. So we're looking forward to a great season, students to come around, not only join for, for sports and basketball, but also all the sports. Football has been described as a wonderful experience. From cheerleaders walking down the hall with their uniforms to football players wearing their jerseys, it has really proven to bring all students together. This has been Maria Gonzalez reporting for WBTV. What's up, guys? My name is Samuel Correa, and I am from West Broward High School. This is my film, Elia. Hope you enjoy. Hi, this is Lyra Bishop speaking, but you probably already know that. Uh, today is day 4015, waiting for my parents to come back. As you may know from watching these past 4,000 vlogs, my parents were among the five astronauts sent on the mission to rescue Earth, leaving me behind for 11 years. They were supposed to come back around this time last year, but I won't give up hope. I guess I'll keep you guys posted. Program activated. Good morning, Miss Lara. Are you excited about your birthday today? I'm not excited for another year without them. It is time to go give your grandfather his medicine. Here 
go again. Would you like me to play the video? I guess so. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday Lyra. Lyra. This is a special one. A legal adult. Our baby girl's all grown up. You know, we miss you and love you and totally am back. Love you, baby. Bye. Love you to Aaliyah and back. Lyra, if you're watching this, I love you so much. I know you were supposed to come back last year, so if we don't come back, do not give up hope, baby. You're the strongest person I know. Keep the necklace close. It's what keeps us connected. Make us proud, baby. Cyrus, can you run the equation to see if f prime of f of x is continuous and differentiable? Calculating. Okay, what if we find if f of a is equal to f of b? Calculating. Damn it. Cyrus, change x to y. Calculating. Cyrus, find F prime. Calculating. Okay, Cyrus, if frequencies are standing waves, then find the frequency in terms of lambda for this equation. Calculating. Yes, Miss Lyra. I don't think I'm ever gonna find them. I don't have an answer for that. Is there something else I can help you with? No. Oh, uh... Actually, can you turn on the projector? Well, Cyrus is great and all, but every robot has their limitations, of course. There isn't a robot in the world whose decisions aren't solely based on predetermined algorithms and is up to plot. Cyrus is the same. He doesn't take into account human emotion. Cyrus, shut down. Deactivating.
love you. Well, that wraps it up here from West Broward High. I'm Emma Luna. And I'm Nicholas Gallen. If you guys want to see more stories like these and more, make sure to follow our Broward Teen News Facebook page. See you next time. Our Teen News was brought to you by ProSound and Video.